Hello, welcome to the Light Lab. I'm Dr. Jade Raven, and I will be administering your whole treatment today. Just finalizing a few notes here about your treatment plan. So, first we're gonna get you nice and settled in with a perfectly cozy pillow and blanket, both of them selected just for you. Then I'll administer a brief shoulder massage just to get you nice and relaxed. And then we'll go ahead and move forward with the light treatment. All right? Great. I always like to let new clients know that I'm not just the director of the light lab. I'm also a client. <laughs> I used to have terrible sleep issues for years before I discovered light therapy for sleep. Mm -hmm. Oof. Yeah, so I take this treatment very seriously and I have a really personal knowledge of its benefits. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was a real struggle for me. Nightmares, insomnia, I even started sleepwalking at one point. I would wake up and find a mess in the kitchen that I didn't remember making, or one morning I found my shoes in the pool. One time while sleepwalking, I actually wandered onto a soundstage and filmed an entire commercial. Hey y'all, it's JB. There's no getting around the fact that the climate crisis can be really scary to think about. And despite the fact that any of us can make some really simple changes to make a positive difference, many of us don't. Just because the problem seems so big and overwhelming, it can feel discouraging and it might seem difficult to know where to start. That's why I want to thank this video sponsor, Ren, for creating a really easy, wonderful, and automated way for individuals like you and me to begin offsetting our carbon footprint. Ren is a simple, enjoyable, and effective way to make a difference in the climate crisis. On Ren's website, you can answer a few simple questions about your lifestyle to calculate your carbon footprint, and then you can choose to offset it by funding a diverse mix of carbon reduction projects, such as tree planting, mineral weathering, and rainforest protection. The first thing you can do on Ren is easy, interesting, and it's free. I was able to calculate my personal yearly carbon footprint. I saw that mine was actually lower than the average person's in my country, and that felt good. I also saw that mine was about twice as high as the world average, and that made me want to do better. The next part is optional, but it's really cool. I was given the option to choose a funding plan based on how much of my personal carbon footprint I wanted to help offset each month, including the option to create a custom plan based on what felt right for my budget. Once you sign up to make a monthly contribution to offset your carbon footprint at whatever price point feels right to you, you receive monthly updates from the projects you support. You get to see what your money is spent on with photos and details of trees planted, acres reforested, and tons of carbon offset. One of my favorite projects that Ren supports is Manjulis, a carbon offset project that provides clean burning fuel and cook stoves to refugees in Uganda. It has the potential to provide cooking fuel for over 1 million refugees and to prevent thousands of acres of deforestation each year. You can make a difference in the fight to end the climate crisis, and you can start helping today by learning more on ren.co. Offset your carbon footprint on Ren. The first 100 people who sign up using the link down below will get an extra 10 trees planted in their name. Thank you again to Ren for sponsoring. It was a pleasure to work with them, and I'm so glad I got to tell you all about them. Well, it was a good commercial at least. <laughs> So it is my hope that you will fall asleep during this treatment, uh, but even if you don't, at the end of the session, I will quietly leave the room, dim the lights, and leave you to drift off peacefully, okay? The room has been reserved for only you for the whole duration of your stay here, so whether you want to take a short nap, or whether you want to get a nice long sleep, you'll remain safe, undisturbed, 
and cozy, all right? Okay, so let's get you set up here with your specialized pillow and blanket. We have quite a selection, so I'm going to ask you a few questions. Um, and just so you know, all of our blankets and pillows are made with organic, hypoallergenic, ethically sourced, uh, cruelty-free materials, and they meet the highest standards for quality and comfort. Mm -hmm. um, for the blanket, we have a few different weights of blanket. We have some very lightweight blankets, we have medium weight, heavy weight, and we even have um, weighted blankets if you prefer that. So which one would you like? Uh, lightweight, medium weight, heavy weight, or weighted? Okay, great, you got it. All right, and as far as the material goes, what kind of uh, fabric or material would you prefer for your blanket? We have, let's see, come and illustrate here. We have cotton, cotton fleece, we have flannel, and we also have plush microfiber. Which one of those? So again, we have cotton, cotton fleece, we have flannel, and plush microfiber, which is really kind of soft and fuzzy. Which of those would you prefer? Great choice. Yes. All right. Now, let's see. Oh, so we also have blankets that are heated. We would plug it in right over there and it would heat up if you're feeling cool and you want that extra warm, toasty feeling. Um, we also have blankets that are cooling, so if you're feeling warm, uh, I have this great lightweight blanket that I love that has cooling to it that's great during the summer. Um, so would you prefer either of those, one that is heated or one that's cooling? Okay, got it. And uh, for your pillow, this is a little bit of a more simple choice. Do you prefer a soft pillow, a medium pillow, or one that's nice and firm? Soft, medium, or firm? Which one? All right, great. All right, and then again for the pillow cover, you again have your choice of fabrics. We have the cotton, cotton fleece, flannel or the plush microfiber. Some people like for it to match their blanket. Some people like to mix it up, feel something different on the back of their head or their face, depending on how they sleep. So for the pillowcase, are we going to go with cotton, cotton fleece, flannel, or the plush fuzzy microfiber? All right, you got it. Okay, so I am going to go ahead and collect your pillow and blanket, and then I'll be right back and I'll get you settled in, all right? Great. All right, so I've got your pillow and your blanket right here. You don't have to go anywhere. I'm going to sneak around behind you there. I'm going to ask you to just lift up your head a little bit. I'll support you with my hand. And I'm going to slide the pillow right under you, okay? All right. So, you don't have to do too much here. I'm actually going to kind of scoop my hand under your head here. And I'm going to lift your head up, up, up. I'm going to slide the pillow under there. There we go. Now you can rest your head back. I'm going to lower your head. There we go. Perfect. All right. How does that feel? Is it nice and comfy? Good. Do you want to adjust your head a little bit? Make sure. All right. So what I think I'd like to do is I'm going to go ahead and fluff up the pillow for you a little bit. Again, 
You don't have to move. I can, I'm, I'm a professional. <laughs> I can get it done just while you rest there. So again, I'm gonna kind of sneak off to either side here, get it nice and fluffed up so that it gives you just the right amount of support and feels great and stays in possession while you're resting. So I'll just stay right there and... Okay, so again, I am an expert pillow fluffer. You can just lay right there and relax. And I'm just gonna give your pillow a little bit of a short massage here so that it's perfectly shaped cradle and support your head while you rest, okay? Here we go. Pretty good. I just want to get a little more over here. And a little bit over here. tuck you in if that's all right, so just get into a nice, comfortable resting position, okay? And um, do you want your arms to be free, like on top of the blanket, or do you want your arms underneath the blanket and tucked in? Okay. And do you prefer to be like really firmly, tightly tucked in, or do you want it to be loose? Okay. Yeah, I can do that. So, let me just go ahead and... 
adjust it for your arm here. If I touch your arm, I'm just gonna move it a little bit. Okay, thank you. There we go. Okay, and let's get it. Alright, and how about your feet? Do you want your feet co totally covered by the blanket and tucked in? Or do you want me to adjust it so that your feet are sticking out a little bit? Alright, yeah, that's what I like too. Just let me know. Start. Here, working my way down. Get it. Just right. Good and cozy, comfortable. Alright, great. So, I'm gonna go ahead and step right over here. I have evaluated your profile and I've picked the perfect lights just for you, uh, selected for your unique sleep profile, okay? Alright, just a moment. sorts of goodies here. I have one, two, three, four, and five. Five lights that I picked out just for you. I also got this um, really nice massage oil. Uh, it's unscented and it is very gentle on the skin. Uh, absorbs very nicely. It's not greasy. Lots of people comment that their skin feels so nice and moisturized and soft after their visits with me, so I think you'll like it a lot. Uh, if it's alright, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and give you your shoulder massage now. Alright, so I should be able to mostly do it right from this angle. Again, I'll do all the work here. Some of this massage oil onto my hands here. Okay, and should be enough to start. I'm gonna get it nice and warmed up in my hands so it doesn't feel cold. If I go ahead and place my hands on your shoulders. Okay. And for your shoulder massage, um, on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being extremely gentle, just sort of lightly 
passing my fingers over your skin, ten being a lot deeper, nice deep pressure, five of course being in the middle there. How much pressure would you like for your shoulder massage? Okay, yeah, you got it, I can do that. So, I'm gonna place my hands on your shoulders. I'm just gonna start smoothing the lotion onto your skin, the oil. On there, great. Okay, I'm gonna start on this side. Giving you just the right amount of pressure. sensitive hands, so I'm usually able to tell kind of what your body's asking for. I can tell if you are tensing up a little and you need to go lighter. I can also tell when the muscles are in need of Just take some nice, comfortable, deep breaths at your own pace. I'm going to spend a little time on this side and then I'll be back. I feel about right, pressure-wise. Okay. Good. You're doing a great job. Some people struggle to sit well for a massage. You're doing great. shoulders here. Yeah, we're a little uneven. Have you noticed that? One shoulder's higher than the other. Okay. okay. Once I get a little more work done on them, I bet they're going to even out quite a bit. Okay, so. Get right in here and work the muscle. Feeling it relax. Okay. I'm going to do some kind of gentle little circles with my fingers. Both sides. already. How about you? Your muscles, your shoulders, already quite a bit more relaxed, softer. And do a little more focused attention on this side, so I can use both hands. Okay. 
Gonna grab a little more oil. Even them out, yeah. Looking much better. Okay, just some more little circles. Okay, I'm gonna sneak back to just the very back of your neck here. Here. I'm just gonna clean up my hands, get some of the extra oil off so I'm not dropping the lights. And I'll be right back with you, okay? Alright, so moving ahead now into the actual light therapy treatment. I'm gonna let you know that as I use these lights, you're not going to have to move at all, except with your eyes, maybe. As I shine the lights into and around your eyes, I may give you some instructions. I may ask you to follow the light with your eyes. I may ask you to stare at a fixed point while I shine the light at you. Or I may ask you to just relax and sort of let your eyes go unfocused, okay? So, regardless of whether you fall asleep or not, I'm going to continue with all of the lights, the whole treatment. Um, for people who fall asleep during the treatment, we found that Continuing with the whole thing helps guide our clients into an even deeper state of sleep. And if you're still awake at the end of the treatment, I'll still just kind of sneak out very quietly and turn off the lights and leave you to drift off into sleep. Alright? Great. So, I'm going to start here with this light. I thought it would be a great starter light for you. It's very gentle on the eyes. And it works as sort of a light bath, a wash of light. It's not quite as focused as some of the other lights. Um, what I'm going to ask you to do is just stare straight ahead. You can look at my notes if you'd like. Let your eyes relax. You can blink if you need to during this part as much as you need, okay? I'm just going to take the light and just try to pass it over you. Good. So keep looking straight ahead. I'm going to bring the light down. it now. Bring it up. Good. Keep looking straight ahead. Okay. Up. Good. And up. Good. Alright. You can blink 
think a few times with your knee. And then again, same thing, just a little bit faster this time. first part over with. Now, I'm going to move on to this one right here. It's one of my favorites. It's very classic, very simple pen light. Go. I'm going to bring it up just so you can get a sense for how bright it is. You don't have to do anything yet. Okay. Alright, so to start with, again, I would like you just to stare straight, straight ahead at my nose. Okay. I'm going to be shining the light in and around your eyes. You can blink if you really need to, but as best you can, just try to look straight ahead, okay? Right. So, look right here. I'm going to bring the light up. Good. Beautiful. times if you need to, and then right here, okay. Now, as you look, I'm going to bring the light in, close, and then out, great. Okay, here, once again, I'm going to bring it quite close, and back, out, great, in, good, beautiful. Again, using this light, I'm going to ask you to follow the light with your eyes this time. With this one, as with any of the other ones, if you can't keep up with it perfectly, that's fine. Just do your best, and you'll feel the full effect no matter what, okay? So, I'm going to ask you to look at the light. Good, just like that. Blink as much as you need to, but try to keep your eyes on the light, okay? So you can move it from side to side, just following it. Good. Keep following. I'm gonna pick up the speed a little bit in just a moment. Good. Following the light from side to side. Good. You're doing great. You should be feeling sleepy, relaxed. Feeling sleepy, cozy, safe, heavy eyelids. Good. Okay. Blink if you need to a few times. Again, following the light, I'm going to bring it in, out, good, following the light, in, out, very good, okay, again, following the light, movement's going to become a little more random, do your best to keep up with it, okay, good. Ask you to look at this finger. Okay. Keep your eyes on this finger. Follow it. Good. Now look at the light. Follow the light. Good. Look at my finger. Okay. 
Look at both. They're gonna move together. Good. You're doing a wonderful job. Okay. Great. Okay. Now this time, you can go ahead and blink a few times if you need to. Just pick a point over my shoulder and try to fix your eyes on that distant point, okay? So looking there, I'm going to get up a little bit closer with the light and go ahead and keep looking back here. Go ahead and relax your eyes now. I'm going to bring in our third light. It's the bigger one, but you don't have to be intimidated. It's not hugely powerful. It has a unique shade, though. I'm just going to show you what it looks like. See? Okay. And we do have a variety of colored lights. I ended identified this one as one that would be perfect for you and your sleep needs, okay? So once again, we're going to start with you looking straight ahead. My nose, okay? So keep your eyes right here. I'm going to bring the light up. Just keep looking at my nose. Can you go ahead and look up for me? Just look up. Great. Look down, please. Great. Okay. For this next part, I'm going to have you following the light again. Alright. So go ahead and look at the light. And as I move it, I'd like you to follow it. Keeping your eyes on the light as it moves out and in and back and forth. Keep following the light as it moves away from you and then toward you. Go ahead. Very good, keeping your eyes on the light. It moves from side to side. You're doing so well. Very good, okay. Following the light. As it gets quite close. And following the light as it moves away. Good. Look at my nose. Mm -hmm. Now look at the light, follow the light. Good. Look at my nose right here. Very good. Okay, now pick a point over my shoulder. Look at that for a moment, please. Follow my finger, please. And beautiful. 
No. Light number four. This one is a little more powerful than the last one, just to prepare you for that. I'm gonna bring up the light. I'm gonna ask you to look at my nose. Good. Keep looking at my nose. Very good. Keep looking right straight ahead. I know. Very good. Okay. Looking at my nose again. I'm gonna bring it in very close. Move it out. And bring it out. Beautiful. Okay. Can you look up for me, please? I look down. Okay. Very good. Look at my finger, please. Okay. Keep looking at my finger. Follow my finger. Beautiful. Eyes on my finger still, please. Mm-hmm. Good. Good. Following my finger. Good. Doing a great job. This one's a little tricky. the light, please. Okay. Now for this next part, I'm going to ask you to look straight ahead, but instead of staring at my nose or some fixed point, I'd like you to just kind of let your eyes go unfocused for me, please. Just like you're daydreaming, staring off into the distance, okay? So go ahead. Let your eyes go unfocused. Good. Very good. Okay. Just keeping your eyes relaxed like that. you to close your eyes. Close both your eyes. Good. Now open your eyes. Perfect. Close your eyes. Open your eyes. Good. One more time. Please close your eyes. Open your eyes. Follow the light. Very, very good. Okay. Beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the last one now. Okay. So, this one's a little bit on the strong side as well. You are pretty warmed up now, so it should be all right. Go ahead and look at my nose, please. I'm going to get quite close with the light this time. Good. Getting real close again. Beautiful. Okay, pick a point over my shoulder, please. Look at that. Good. again. Look at the light. Mm -hmm. Close your eyes. Open your eyes. Mm -hmm. Close your eyes. Open your eyes. Good. 
Close your eyes. Open your eyes. Close your eyes. ask you to follow the light. Blink if you need to, but as best you can. Follow the light with your eyes as it moves from side to side. Feeling sleepy, cozy, safe, and relaxed. Following the light. Open your eyes. Good. Continuing to look at my nose. Close your eyes. Open your eyes. Perfect. Once again, we're going to close your eyes. Open your eyes. And finally, your eyes closed, you can sell in, get ready for a wonderful sleep. I'm going to leave you to yourself in cozy, wonderful comfort. You can sleep for as long as you'd like, and you should wake up feeling good. Feeling refreshed, feeling totally ready for whatever comes next. Okay? Great. Thank you so much for coming in today. You've been a wonderful client, and I hope we see you again very soon.